Hey guys, it's Jack Stan here, and um, today we're going to do a little tutorial on how to change a capacitor on your blower motor on your furnace here. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the power, okay? Which is located. There's a disconnect switch over there on the side, okay? It turns off the 120 volt power and the 24 volt from the transformer, okay? So and lift this off, take the cover off. This is a 90% a efficient furnace. So it looks like this. Then we're gonna take down take the uh, if any toddlers are watching this with the his, bottom off here. If any toddlers are watching this with his mom or dad, he'll probably be like, What's this mean, Mom? What's yeah. this mean? Well, you take the bottom off here, and if you look down here, okay, in the bottom here, can you see that? Can you see this? It's a little bit of a little bit of oil down here. Okay? Here, give me a good look. Right, right there, yeah. Right there, that's a little oil. And this capacitor here is leaking a little bit. So this is what starts the blower motor on to get the fan going that circulates the air through the house. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the blower motor off. We're gonna open my Vito MC. Vito Pro Pack MC here. We're gonna take this. This is probably gonna get copyrighted and deleted. Why? People Vito would like the advertising. They're the best tool that you can buy. I know, I right? Three, I got three of them. I know, right? Okay. So we're gonna put our 516. My Uptown on Funk here. video got copyrighted. So Am I trying gonna, to laugh? We're gonna do this. There's a little screw on here, okay? Right, can you see that there? You gotta go down. A little screw to hold the strap in. Okay, so we're gonna take that screw off. Okay, put it, keep it in there. We're gonna stop this video right here for now, guys. We're gonna split this and do a part two, so bye.